by now Nationwide was in decline. Not knowing what it wanted to be anymore had taken its toll. Good evening, However, it had one last shot at the big time, and who bigger than the country's first woman prime minister? To answer your questions. For the next 35 minutes, we'll be inviting viewers around the country to put Mrs Thatcher on the spot, as we call it. We've been asking for questions over the past two weeks since the election was declared. On this particular occasion, uh, we had invited a woman called Diana Gould in Bristol who wanted to ask a question about the sinking of the Belgrano. Let's go to Mrs mm. Diana Gould in our Bristol studio. Mm. Mrs Gould, your question, please. Uh, Mrs Thatcher, why, when the uh, Belgrano, the Argentinian mm. battleship, was outside the exclusion zone and actually sailing away from the Falklands, uh, why did you give the orders to sink it? but it was not sailing away from the Falklands. It was in an area which was a danger to our ships and to our people on them. You have just said at the beginning of your answer that it was not sailing away from the Falklands, and I am asking you to correct yes, that statement. but it's within an area outside the exclusion zone, which I think what you are saying is sailing away. I think no, which I'm not, about Mrs. Which way it was facing at the time. a danger to our ships. Mrs. Being Mrs Thatcher, even when she knew she was wrong, she couldn't admit it giving those orders to sink the Belgrano when it was actually sailing away from our fleet and away from the Falklands was in effect sabotaging any possibility of any peace plan succeeding. And so there was a tremendous argument in which this, I think, geography teacher from Sirencester was telling the hardest, we thought, and the toughest, the Iron Lady, that she'd got it wrong. One day, all of the facts in about 30 years' time will be published. That I lifted is not the good enough, Mrs Thatcher. I am we just... Mrs Gould, would let, you let, please let Mrs Thatcher answer. Let me I think answer. You've, you've put a fair point. Would you please let me answer? I think seeing it, you, you do see that she does look a, as if she's getting a bit het up, but it, her voice doesn't show it so much, I don't think, and, of course, I could only hear her. I couldn't see her. I'm sorry, that is fact, and I am going to finish. I thought it was wonderful. I thought it was democracy in action. Here we were. This is the person who's trying to get the vote of the people. She's answerable to the people. She's been tested and cross-examined by the people. I think it could only be in Britain that a prime minister was accused of sinking an enemy ship that was a danger to our navy when my main motive was to protect the boys in our navy. And then the programme finished and um, Mrs Thatcher was absolutely fine. I mean, you know, she'd had a run around the course and it had been a bit tough in parts. Well, it was a fairly silent walk along the corridor here to the hospitality room where Mrs Thatcher's entourage was waiting for her. Dennis, Carol and one or two others. And she walked through the door here and I don't think she knew what to expect. But when she saw their faces, there was no question mark. They thought it was a disgrace. For the first time they thought she wasn't in charge during the election campaign. Dennis took her up the corner. And there was a lot of whispering and fussing and Bernarding and was looking very stiff and worried. And suddenly the place seemed, you know, rather strangely uh, ill at ease. And then she turned and um, said, what has the Falklands got to do with the election campaign? Why did you allow a question on the Falklands? She became furious. She was white with fury. And they stormed off. And he genuinely did so, Dennis Thatcher said, a load of pinkos. I mean, it's so cliched, but I heard him say it. A load of pinkos. How could they do that? Well, we did it. Or rather, Mrs Gould did it. It, it did divert her election campaign. I mean, it was quite a big moment in the end, as it turned out. On the air at that time, neither she nor I realised it was as important as it turned out to be. It certainly affected her relationship with me. She um, let it be known, not that I was that important, but let it be known that she would never wish to be interviewed by me again and she did turn me down on, on numerous occasions including for Desert Island Discs. Margaret Thatcher's relationship with the BBC never recovered from Mrs Gould's onslaught. With the licence fee up for renewal the corporation's management were getting twitchy. Nationwide finally closed its doors on the 5th of August 1983.